I was in London for about eight days and uh, really spent some great time with some of the most elite sales leaders and executives in my company. And now after London, we took, we took a private plane and we flew all the way down here to Ireland uh, last night. And we're spending another few days at this insane place called the Adair Manor. It's a castle, okay? You can Google it, and, and, and it's one of the most magnificent castle in Ireland. Uh, their golf course, I believe, is the top seven golf course in the world. So we're gonna spend the next few days here to kind of wrap up this amazing company trip. Uh, I have been, listen, I have been uh, working as a sales leader, eventually become, became an executive of my current company where uh, I had the opportunity to develop and work with many, many great people. I remember two decades ago, we started a company with probably less than a hundred uh, sales leaders and it, it took us many, many years to really scale the company, right? And one of the most, I guess, common question that people constantly was uh, uh, asking me and, and, and trying to search for an answer is, how do you build a great company? You know, man, how do you go from zero to massive? How, how do you go from slow to have speed? How do you go from no culture to world-class culture? How do you build an environment that everybody want to be part of, at least the good people want to be part of, right? That's a great question. And I do want to share some of my uh, experience over the last two decades on how to really build a great company. And if, I know for those of you who is, you know, working extremely hard and hustling today and you have nothing and, and, and you just have blind faith, you have, you have that, uh, you know, ignorant enthusiasm. You have that strong desire to do something big in your life, but you don't know how to get there and you don't know if you ever get there or not. I feel you. I understand where you're coming from because that is exactly who I was two and a half decades ago. So to build a great company, it has a couple elements, right? I call today the five combos to build a great company. So the first thing, I'll tell you what is the first thing to build a successful company, a great company, is you have to find, okay? You have to partner up. You have to identify a visionary. You have to partner up with somebody who has a vision to go big, all right? And when I say vision to go big, I'm talking about somebody that want to go to the moon type of vision, all right? That is so important because any successful people that build successful companies, you know the number one thing they all have in common is that they have a big vision. They think very big. They might not be there yet, but they already project that vision to all of their people right from the get-go. So finding that visionary who has that big vision is number one. So I was, you know, a little guy, you know, uh, when I started the business. When I say little guy means, man, I didn't know anything about the business. I, I was not making money. But I was able to identify someone who has the vision to go big. That's all I needed. I needed somebody to tell me what the future can look like if I'm willing to work hard. If I'm willing to work hard consistently, if I'm willing to do the right thing, if I'm willing to put pay the price, do I have a big, bright future? And the answer is absolutely yes. For me, at the beginning, I found a mentor. I found a coach. I found a visionary. And today I became a partner of my mentor who mentored me many, many years ago. But when I first started, I was not the guy. I was simply one of the guy that needed to find someone who has a big vision and willing to stretch my vision, who's also willing to lead me to that vision he's projecting to me and the rest of the people. And, and one of the most, you know, uh, uh, I think misunderstood uh, a, a concept for a lot of people is this one thing. They think that they have to be the founder themselves. They have to be the CEO themselves to become wealthy. That's absolutely not true. You don't have to create your own company. You don't have to create your own product. You don't have to create your own idea. As long as you find someone who can create those ideas, the right product, who has the vision, who has the money to back it up, you simply have to pluck it in and add the most value and consistently working hard 
and making sure you align with that vision and one day you can become wealthy as well. If you think about Steve Ballmer, right? Steve Ballmer is a billionaire. He didn't found Microsoft. He was just simply one of those guys that saw the vision of Bill Gates and he added a lot of value to Microsoft. He showed up early. He, he solved a lot of problems for, uh, for, for Bill Gates and, and for Microsoft and ultimately he became wealthy. I can give you so many examples of people who never started a company, but they're willing to pluck in and align with someone that has a big vision and ultimately they became wealthy and they together built a great company. The next combo is all about having the right product. All right. And one of the book I read, you know, uh, a years ago is this book called Blue Ocean Strategy. And the entire book is really talking about instead of swimming at the red oceans where, where everybody's competing because everybody's selling the same thing same thing you have to go to the blue ocean in a sense where you're selling a product is is, is not relevant to other people uh because you are offering something that is unique and, and your competitions become irrelevant okay and the key is that if you want to scale your company it, it, it's really about having a product and hopefully your partner or not like again you don't have to create a product you know if you can create your product you're the founder and ceo okay but if you're not you just got to find a company that has a unique product that can solve people's problems and that product has to be unique you don't want to be a working with a company that's selling a product that everybody has right that's more of a me too company all right me too me better you selling at this pricing i'm lowering my prices you don't want to be in that situation because that's the red ocean you want to be in a company that created a product is what i call a blue ocean product in a sense where it's unique it's different than other competitors all right and now you're in a position to offer that product in a massive scale because nobody's really your competition the only competition is yourself and the people internally in your organization or in your company so the product has to be a very 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 unique product that can solve your customers problems whatever that problem a product might be right third combo now right once you have somebody who has the vision then you have the right product the next combo is what the next combo is everything now all right you know i see so many people spending so much time on website on on all this marketing stuff, but they don't have the right product and they don't even have any sales people to sell those products, but they're spending so much time on developing all these amazing websites. You know what? That doesn't even come on, uh, on the third combo. The third combo is what? Focus all of your energy, okay? Recruit the right talent into your organization. It's all about recruiting the right people. When I say the right people, I'm talking about hungry people. I'm talking about humble people. I'm talking about people who really wants to win and win the right way. And by the way, there are many of these people in the world today, all right? When people say, well, I don't know how to find people. I don't know how to recruit people. You just gotta be the right messenger to share what you believe in, you know, to massive people and let, let the rest, let God sort them out, let the opportunity sort them out because not everyone fits into your opportunity. Not everybody want to be in your opportunity. But if you go massively sharing your story, sharing your crusade, sharing your opportunity, you're gonna have the right people joining your organization. So again, recruiting is everything. You know, you can have the best website. You can have the best products. If you don't have people to sell it, your company's not gonna scale. So we spent many years, okay, you know, work with a lot of sales leaders in our organization. I mean, you come to one of a convention, it's a few thousand people. I mean, just on this company annual trip, right? In London and Ireland, we, we had close to 500 people here, right? And they have to qualify for it. By the way, they have the his sales goal. And we have our strategy, our, our incentive to motivate and drive these people to do more and helping more people in the marketplace to our product. So people is everything, right? People is everything. So you've got to constantly recruiting and searching people training and making sure all these guys you know can duplicate the sales process and go out there and able to close the deals and helping customers and all that stuff now the fourth combo is, is this one now is building a great culture right culture is, means well, what is culture a great culture means that people feel 
they belong to a community. That's all it is. But what kind of culture does your company, you know, create? Is, is this something very fun, very exciting? You know, is it something that's kind of boring? Is this something that's just nobody helping nobody and, 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 and people just doing their own thing? We, my partner and I, and many of my key guys, we spend many years to build a world-class culture. Number one, is very fun. You come to one of our events, it's not a boring event. People dress up, shop, and we have a lot of fun. And, and, and at the same time, it's, it's a professional environment, right? Meaning that we compete. You know, one of the biggest thing about our company is that people compete with each other uh, to get bigger recognition. You come to one of our convention, we're giving out a lot, a lot of world-class awards and our guys are fighting for those awards, fighting on, on speaking on stage, fighting for an annual trip like London and Ireland, like, like, like what we're doing uh, the last few days. And our culture is also about helping each other. While we're competing, we also collaborate and working with each other and lifting every you know leader up. So you come to one of our event, you come to one of our office and you will feel the energy. You will feel the, 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 the vision. You will feel this is something that's different than any other places out there, any other jobs out there. So creating the culture requires you as a leader to cast that vision, to instill the right value and principle in your organization. At the same time, inject a lot of fun stuff along the way. You understand what I'm saying? So once you have that great culture built, now people want to be in that environment. Building a great culture will help you to retain a lot of great people, okay? And big companies in the world today, I don't care if it's Microsoft, Tesla, Amazon, uh, Facebook, all these companies, they are focusing all of their energy on doing two things, hiring, massively hiring talented people and retain the good one that's all they're doing so you want to be a great company make sure you continue to focusing on recruiting massively recruiting great people and also create a culture to retain those great people and by the way when you create a great culture you will not have some bad apples in your organization they will filter themselves on their own because they don't they don't want to be in a great culture because if somebody who's doing something is fishy they're doing something that's not right and, and they don't want to follow protocols and compliance or whatever rules and laws and compliance in your industry they want to they don't want to be in, in, in an environment where everybody's doing things right right so they will go to another company with different cultures in a, not a, not a word could be a bad culture so bad culture attract bad people Great culture attract great people, if that makes sense. And the last combo is about training, tools. Do you have a system in training in place where when you recruit people, you hire people, these people will go through a specific protocols of training. So instead of like, you have all these people and they don't know what to do. It's like watered down effect. So we spend many, many years, okay, on developing, specific training protocol and making sure people leader who join our company are trained in a proper manner so those are the five combos to be a great company i'm speaking to you from adair manor ireland guys i hope you enjoy my message of today's video post a comment below i would love to hear your feedbacks and share this video to any entrepreneurs out there trying to build and uh, sustain a great company one day JW here, and see you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.